Hey YouTube, welcome back to a new video. If this is your first time here on the channel, definitely check out some of my other videos. And if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. All right guys, so today I'm gonna chat for a bit about the games that I have been playing. Um, it feels good just cause I'm in my last week of school, guys. And I didn't, you know what? When I started back in the school year and a half ago, I was like, I'm never gonna make it to February, 2022. That's so long away. Um, and here we are, we're here <laughs> and I am done. I, and you know, this is the last week. There's a few things that need to be um, turned in, but for the most part, my workload is significantly less. Uh, than what it was or what it has been for the past year and a half. So I'm able to get back into the swing of things. Um, as far as my hobbies go, I'm able to play games again. Well, I was playing before, but like for real, like spend time playing games and reading and all of that good stuff. So here we are. I'm going to chat about the games that I've been playing. And the first game is available on the Nintendo Switch eShop. I think it's also available on Steam. And you know what's funny? I really haven't heard many people talk about Horus. Yes, Horus. <laughs> um, I've seen this game, I, you know, I don't know how long it's been on the eShop. I don't know when it was originally released onto the eShop, but I've seen the game for a bit. Um, so you know how they'll show sales. You can go to the great deal section of um, the eShop and you'll see whatever games are on sale there and um i've seen horus quite a, a few times and um i always kind of turned it down because i was like this looks i don't even know what this is like the cover art is just terrible um but a couple of weeks ago i clicked into it and uh i was watching looking at some of the images i read about it and i was like and i watched the video i was like yeah i gotta try this out horus is essentially a platformer, okay? Um, think something like Super Meat Boy, definitely not as challenging and the controls aren't as precise as Super Meat Boy, but along those same levels or along that same level, it has a little bit of Metroidvania mixed in there as well. You'll play as Horace, who is a robot of some sort. He was created by an old man. And um, this old man was kind of teaching Horace uh, the way of the land, you know, kind of teaching him things. And the old man dies and Horace is trying to figure out life or what's going on or, uh, you know, basically uh, in the world around him without the old man. So he's discovering things. Um, and he gets himself into some shenanigans. Um, but this is the first time, guys, that I feel like, thinking back, I don't know if I've ever played a video game or a platformer that relied so heavily on the narrative aspect. Like, it's really a story-based game. Um, and the story is really good. It's written really well. It's clever. It's charming. It's funny and witty as well. Um, it, it's really good writing. But to me, it feels like this the this platformer is more or less based around the story. And I really like that. Um, there's also, of course, it, it's like pixelated. And it also has like throwbacks. There's the, the Wario Wares mixed in there. Um, you'll have little mini games that you'll play. But I really, Horus is definitely a surprise for me. I'm really enjoying my time with it. If I would have known about Horus before Super Rare put out their physical version, I probably would have um, went ahead and purchased the physical version as well because honestly, this is one of my favorite Nintendo eShop games. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's just, th it's thrown me for a loop, honestly. So let me know if you've played Horus. Um, and if not, and if, you know, if you haven't um, and you like platformers, a little bit of Metroidvania, um, a little bit of WarioWare mixed in there, doesn't take itself too seriously, but it has a really good story, definitely check out Horus. So for my Nintendo Switch, I've been playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, or is it Arceus? I think it's Arceus. Either way, I've been playing this new Pokemon game. I won't spend too much time on it because I'm sure all of you are well aware about uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, I do want to give a little round of applause to Game Freak. Uh, great job, guys, with kind of 
you know, put a little breath of fresh air uh, back into the series. Look, I'm a firm believer of if it ain't if it ain't broke, then don't fix it, right? I get it, okay? Pokemon, the series started late 90s and it has sold a ton of games, you know, such a high selling franchise. And they've, for the most part, at least with the mainline games, they've always stuck to that one main formula. And the fact that they went out on a limb and did something a little different, I applaud them for that. I love that. That's that's awesome. I, I totally get it. I feel like every now and again, you should do a little something different to kind of, you know, reinvent the wheel. And um, I think they, 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 they did a good job. This is a great place to start. Um, Pokemon Legends is an open world Pokemon game. I say open world because it's not really open. Um, I think something like Monster Hunter, you know, uh, you have that main um, hub area and then you can branch off into different areas or environments to um, explore. Um, yeah, and you're basically like trying to fill out your Pokédex, <laughs> which is cool. I personally get a little bit of a Pokemon Snap vibe to it. I don't know. It's, it's giving me Pokemon Snap vibes. Um, I like it though, just because... You know, I, even though the open world does feel a little empty at times, most of the times, <laughs> most of the time it feels a lot empty. And um, but I still get a sense of exploration and, and going all around and seeing what's behind that corner, what new Pokemon have popped up. I love the way you fill out your Pokédex, um, how you can either battle Pokemon or you could just sneak up and like snatch them, catch them up in a Pokeball and call it a day, keep it moving. Um, there's so many different aspects to that, which I actually really do appreciate. That's my favorite part of the game is catching these Pokemon. Um, could really care less about the story, but you know, again, I'm not a Pokemon aficionado. Like I'm not here for the lore, but I'm here for the gameplay and I'm having a blast with it. So I think I'm about, I've been told that I'm about halfway done um, and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to see this one through because like I said, I really do enjoy what Game Freak and Nintendo are throwing out. Dying Light 2, Stay Human. Pick this one up for the Xbox Series X. And um, I had a moment um, where I didn't think I was really going to like a, the game. I initially wasn't going to purchase the game off the break. Um, but because of my experience with Dying Light, the first one, um, it wasn't a bad experience. I just fell off really hard from that game. And I think I, it had a lot to do with maybe where I was mentally at the time and how I was feeling. The day and night cycle just wasn't working for me. So I was okay. I was cool with the daytime, right? But once the night hit, the sense of anxiety that I felt when I was playing that game definitely wasn't good and I was like yeah I can't because you have these like infected like zombie like creatures chasing after you and this one I I can remember correctly it was super powerful it would crawl up onto the roof tops I feel like it was just it was taunting me and it was, it was bothering me I was just like I can't with this game so I put it down for a bit um, and that's probably has, I don't mind a scary game, but it probably had something to do with, I don't know, everything that was going on at the time, right? So it just wasn't, it was too much for me too soon. Um, so Dying Light 2 comes around and when I initially started playing it, I was like, uh, I don't know. And then I had this aha moment with it and it's, something just clicked, like the, the combat and the parkour and leveling up. It's just so much fun. Now, I will be the first one to say um, the story I could really care less about, right? It's not, they're trying, um, but it's not hooking me. I don't really care about the story. I'm just having a great time kicking some zombies' asses or infected, whatever they're called in this game. I'm having a blast, like, finding weapons, modifying them, slicing up zombies or the baddies and climbing up onto rooftops. The traversing around the environment is really good. It feels good. Um, despite the jump button being on the, on, I'm playing on the Xbox. So despite that being on RB, to me, that's kind of awkward, but it works. It works for this game. Um, 
yeah, I I'm just having a blast with it. Um, I I'll really turn on YouTube and play the game and just listen to like music or whatever. It's it's just so therapeutic for me right now. It's, I know it's weird to say, but I'm having a blast doing it, and uh, I definitely am going to be playing more of it. And then finally, the last game, new PlayStation Five title, Horizon Forbidden West finally came out and boy I gotta tell you I'm enjoying my time with this I knew I was going to um I really enjoyed Horizon Zero Dawn and uh this game has its hooks on me and I've only played like about maybe five hours that might be a little generous but I'm digging it a lot. It's a beautiful looking game. Oh my gosh, it looks, I, I started streaming it um, and I was on my computer and I was like, huh, this looks really good. I wonder what it's gonna look like when I hook my PlayStation 5 up to my, my television, right? My big screen and it is gorgeous. What a great looking game. It gets me excited to, I mean, I'm not, I, I don't necessarily, a game doesn't have to have the best graphics, right? But. I appreciate a game that looks spectacular. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just something about a really good looking game. It's 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 an awesome it's an awesome looking game, and the gameplay is very similar. I mean, if you played Forbidden, I'm sorry, if you played Zero Horizon Zero Dawn, you are well aware of what you're going to be doing in this game. Um, so far, I've seen the same type of robo dinosaurs um i don't know if they're if they've included any new ones in this game but the story the premise of the story seems really cool um aloy is a little sassafras i love her sassiness i think that's awesome you're definitely getting a lot more of her character in this game which i appreciate uh but yeah i will be playing a whole bunch more of horizon forbidden west i will say i felt a little overwhelmed because off the break um there's just so much to see so much to explore and I'm the type of person when I play a video game like I feel like I have to explore it all right now you know I have to do it all right now and um you know in some parts like some of the caves that you'll go into you can't do whatever it is you're supposed to do because you don't have a certain item and you have to come back to it so Gosh, I just get a little overwhelmed because I'm like, oh, there's a question mark, there's a question mark, there's a question mark, and I'm trying to do everything, and I just, I'm just like, okay, let me put this controller down, but there's a lot of content. Like I said, I'm less than like five hours into the game, and I've already noticed how much stuff is in the game. It's crazy. I'm loving it. So those are the games I'm currently playing. I would love to know what games you guys are currently playing on your Xbox, your phone, your PlayStation, your Nintendo. Let me know in the comment box below. Um, I will say that the five year anniversary of the Nintendo Switch is approaching quickly. And um, I have been saying for a couple of years now that I was gonna do a Nintendo Switch collection video because I have a bunch of Nintendo Switch games and that's probably one of my favorite, well, it is my favorite. I don't even wanna say current gen console cause it's from, last, <laughs> from, it's from last gen, but I love me some Switch. So to celebrate the five year anniversary, I will be doing a Nintendo Switch collection um, and that should be up next week cause I think the five year anniversary is the beginning of March. So you guys should see that. If you would like to watch me play some games on Switch, def on Switch, on Twitch, definitely check me out over on Twitch. I uh, usually have a schedule up, so stop by whenever you get a chance or just watch the videos on demand, whatever. Um, but yeah, guys, I want to thank all of you for watching this video, and I'll check you next time. Peace.